Hello, all Emmerich's back. I'm not a happy chappy. I purchased a uh, swirl uh, flap, one of these bypass resistors that you can purchase. And uh, it's only 15 pounds, but it's only a resistor. So it's, uh, they must have a good profit margin on it. But um, if long as it works, it's great, it's 15 quid. But the thing is, I was taking my math airflow off the other day to check something else. And um, I noticed it and I had a look and it had melted. The end, when you see on these listings on eBay, you'll see that they've got that, that little black dome of adhesive that covers the resistor whatever what that solution is but it melted um to be honest with you i did actually um notice a few replies that were months 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 even longer ago and it did say that some of them did have a problem with the the black solution melting off the end of the resistor um for, for the engine temperature um so what I thought, well, that's going to be fixed by now. I mean, no one's made a complaint. Um, why has no one made a complaint if that's the issue? So I purchased it myself. But because I'm in and out of the car and messing, tinkering around with the car all the time, I notice what's happening. And a lot of the time, people will put this in their engine and never think twice about going back to it, will they? So um, if you if you purchase this item, and you, I should check and go back and see what's going on. Because, like I say, on mine, which is my engine here, I'm about to check that... Um, resistor again and probably send it back i'm not happy about getting products but the actual thing is i contacted the guy on whoever sells it on ebay and they had a message back they said oh if you would, if you hadn't have put a, a, a bad review a negative review we would have sent you the ceramic version so they've actually got a ceramic version now so it seems to me um i'm only surmising that they're actually getting they're trying to sell off all these first batch they made and now they've realized there's a problem here and there and there you know they're relying on people maybe not to actually check go back and check it which is very unlikely for most but if i'm i'm almost certain if you go back and check your resistor the end would have melted off anyway i'll show you exactly what i mean uh, right this minute it's a very simple uh, job to check you just undo the jubilee clip basically here i've done undone that um take these clips off pull them out Be careful because they do they do snap off because they over time they get brittle you know so don't go rough with them there's another one the other at the top of this side there you go that's that one out and this one just bend down pull out push down pull out there you go it's just tucking under there out the way and pull up with this one because it's at the bottom and pull there you go no problem at all uh it's just a case of unclipping these now and removing the uh the math, right, let's, it'll, I'm just going clipping the, the math from the air filter. Air filters, there you go. Oh, be careful, push that in up so you don't damage those. Right, once they're unattached, we have got another sensor here that you can take out. I'd rather take out the, um, I'd rather just pull the actual DPF out rather than disconnect it, but here you go. Let's, let's take this off, let's plonk you there. And basically you just pull out, wiggle, pull out and pull off. Up and off. Right, I'll leave that connected over. Shall I need, no, I'll, I'll pull that. I'll show you what I mean. It's just this here, basically. You can just pull it. You don't have to take the sensor off. You, just, you can just pull it out like that. Right, and there you go, check this out. It's all melted off in there. Look, it's, it's um, solidified now, but yeah, when it gets, it can't take the en even the engine temperature. It just melted off, so. Anyway, that's a warning. If you buy one of these, make sure you don't get this type with this black end. Um, if you do, double check a few days later to see if it's also started to melt under the heat. Anyway, catch you all soon. Emmerich's, cheers all. Mm-hmm.